Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kurt Fisnick. Thanks for being with me here today. And um, we're gonna share a little bit of information about longevity, uh, staying healthy, living longer. And so I'd like to share some information with you. Let me, uh, let me start a share here on the uh, uh, program so you can see my slides. Um, you know, it's not just about living longer. It's not just about living longer. You know, uh, we take a look, and I always like to cover this before we, before we really get started on the program, that when we take a look at longevity, we've really learned how to help people live longer. If we go back thousands of years ago, if you made it to the age of 20, 25, you were considered to be an old man. Um, we go to the days of Christopher Columbus when a lot of the countries around the, the, the continents around the world were being settled. Um, if you made it to the age of 35, you're considered to be old. Just 150 years ago, if you made it to the age of 50, you were considered to be old. And now, um, if you don't make it to 75, you, um, you're considered to have died young. So why, why the changes? And, and, and a lot of it had to do with, with hygiene. We learned how to um, have clean water. And, uh, and, and so now we're really having some breakthrough. Scientists are really spending their time trying to figure out how do we not just get people to live longer? How do we get them so they can live healthier? Because the problem with it is, is that as you age, you tend to have more old age diseases. And, and that's an issue. That's a problem. And, and so we look at that, Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, arthritis, all these different things, Parkinson's. Um, how do we reverse that? How do we take that back and, and make it so that people are, are healthier for longer periods of time? And that's been termed the health span. Um, right now, they say that the uh, average person spends the last 20% of their life in, uh, in bad health. So what if we can do it to, to slow that down, cut that, that bad health down by half? So it's only you know 10% of the last years of life. What if we can cut it down by 75% so that uh, it's only you know uh, five years? What if we can cut it down uh, so it's uh, cut it down by by 90%? You know that's what we're really looking for. And 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 so I went to school for engineering before I went into chiropractic. I like to think of uh, things in terms of graphs. So if you see me drawing in the air a lot, um, that's because in my head, I, I see a graph. I see it right here. But, you know, the graph of life really looks like this. You know, when, when, you're, when you're healthy, you're up here. And then gradually, as you get older, it starts to kind of turn down like this. And sometimes it turns down really fast. Sometimes it turns down slow. But we all know people that age really quickly. And then we know other people that just don't seem to get old. But what happens is that they get down to the bottom of the graph and it just kind of sits there, right? And they, they seem to be in poor health for you know, 10, 20 years. That's what we wanna change. That's what scientists have been working on. And uh, so I'm gonna share a little bit of information on that. I like to pay attention to it. I hope you do too. But bottom line is, even if you don't like science, you like being healthy, you like feeling good. And so let's, let's take a look at a few things here um, as, I, as I share my screen. You know, um, when Tom put this program together, he called it the road to immortality. And, and bottom line is, is that, you know, we can't say that uh, we're immortal, but we can put you on a, a youthful, healthy longevity. And a lot of scientists are working on this and, and they're really saying the same thing that, that Tom is saying. Um, and let's, let's take a look at it. So um, the new product that Tom came out with is called Stemolytic, Stemolytic, and it really deals with a new science called senescence or senolytics. And um, we're, we, we, we've, been, we've been limiting on, on our age uh, because of um, something called uh, the shortening of, of telomeres in 2009, some breakthrough science that got the Nobel Prize. They figured out how to uh, stop the, the, the um, um, or slow down the aging of the telomeres. And, and I'll go through telomeres when we get to when we get to that product that Tom has on this. But you know, under normal conditions, what happens is is that um, your cells, when they get old, they go through a process that's called apoptosis. And really, what that means for for those of you that don't like science is it's a message that's built into every cell that tells the cell, hey, there's something wrong with you. Um, you're getting too old. You're going to cause problems in the body. And we want you to commit cellular suicide. We want you to uh, disappear. And, and so that's called apoptosis, apoptosis. And, and uh, what happens is, is that over time, 
um, your immune system isn't working right, and your, your cells don't listen to the message anymore. Maybe it's due to our diet. We've got a lot of preservatives in the food that we eat. You know, take a look at uh, um, things like McDonald's Happy Meals, and I'm not picking on, on you uh, in particular McDonald's. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm going to use this because I've seen people where they've taken a Happy Meal, they set it on a shelf, two years later they open it up, and guess what? The hamburger, the french fries, everything looks, the, the chicken McNuggets, they look just like they did when they were uh, first made, when you first bought them at the, at the uh, window. So that's because of the amount of preservatives that's, that's in the food. And it's not just that food, it's in most of the food that we buy because a lot of people survive on processed food. So they found that when the cells don't uh, listen to that message anymore, maybe due to, to uh, the, the preservatives in the food, but what happens is, is that the cells go into this um, stage called senescence. And, and you know, I used to believe that senescence was the, the cells go dormant. They just basically go to sleep. And all you do is just kind of knock on them a little bit, wake them back up, and, and they'd go back to work. Well, what they found was is that it's, it's worse than that. They found that when cells go into senescence, what they do is they become dangerous. And think of it like this. You know, I like to give analogies to people so you can, you can mentally think of a, a picture. Just imagine um, somebody comes over to your house, maybe a, 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 your friend's child, a two-year-old, and they're just really rambunctious, and they start going through your kitchen cabinets and throwing everything out, breaking your wine glasses, um, you know, uh, uh, just busting up things, you know, and, and, and throwing things on the floor and just making a real fuss about things. Well, that's what senescent stem cells do. That's what they do. They don't just go to sleep. They don't just take a nap. And so the problem with it is, is that your body is supposed to have these uh, active uh, stem cells that replace and repair and rebuild. But if they're senescent, they don't do that. They're busy causing chaos. They're busy causing chaos. They're, they're causing trouble in your body. So we want to remove those stem cells. And what they found is that when you remove these, these senescent stem cells out of the body, guess what? The body says, hey, we got an open seat over here. Um, let's fill it with a new, healthy, brand new stem cell. Bingo. That's what they've been working on. So um, Stemolytic is a broad spectrum proprietary blend, and I'm going to spend some time talking about the ingredients. I just want to give you a little bit of science on it. You know, really, you can't just have one acetylytic agent and say, oh, we've got it. But a lot of companies are popping on the market now, and they're, that's what they're doing, is they have one ingredient. I was looking at one this morning. I was reading up on it. They've got one ingredient, and they've got about 20% of the necessary dosage to actually make it work. And so it really doesn't work. But one size just doesn't fit all stem cells because there's 220 different kinds of senescent stem cells in the body. And, uh, and so you got to be able to go after all of them. And, and so when Tom formulated this product, really what he did is he, he brought together eight complex senolytic agents into one, into one product. I'm going to share a little bit about some of this information. I've made some notes here. So uh, just let me, uh, you'll see me looking down. I'm looking at my note because I want to give you some accurate science. But uh, this, this ingredient called Guessertin is a natural flavanol. It comes from, from plants. And they found that what it does is it, it helps to delay senescence in some of these stem cells. And what it also does is it induces this apoptosis, right? So it induces the senescent stem cells to commit cellular suicide. Good deal, right? But it also takes... And it's, it's easier to repair sometimes than it is actually to replace. It tastes less energy. So sometimes if you got a cell that's just starting to slip into senescence, what if you can rejuvenate it? And that's what they found with, with Guessertin is that it also has that property as well. Um, Thysitin, it comes from certain fruits. They found that it comes from strawberries. And when I share this with people, a lot of times they say, oh, I love strawberries. I love strawberries. I put strawberry jam on my toast every morning. And, you know, folks, you can't get enough from eating strawberries. You can't eat enough uh, toast with strawberry jam uh, to get enough of this uh, fisetin. Um, it has to be concentrated doses. And so what is this, what does this uh, extract do? Well, they found that what it does is it, kills senescent stem cells. 
it causes the, the stem cell to go into this apoptosis. And it's probably one of the, it's considered the most powerful of all the senolytic agents. So we've got the right amount in our product. Uh, unlike some of these other companies that I was talking about where they put like a, a 10 to 20% uh, amount in there. Um, you can imagine that it takes an awful lot of strawberries to get a, a dose. And, and so, you know, they're gonna cut back, they're gonna put a sprinkling of it in there and they're gonna say that they have it. Um, folks, they don't, we do. Um, and then we use something called scleriol. And, and you know, and up until uh, Tom formulated uh, Stemolytic, you know, I'd heard of scleriol, but I really didn't hear much about it. Um, so I started doing a lot of reading. I've read a lot of research articles on it. And what a, what a great product, what a great ingredient. Uh, I suggest you go do some, some of your own research, Google this. I can't even list some of the things that it does because um, it would be almost like I'd be making medical claims and I can't do this. This video um, isn't really about making medical claims. This video is really, this recording that I'm doing right now is to tell you that we can really work with reversing the age of your cells. And I was reading a study this morning. They, they were using just some of these ingredients and they were finding that when they measured different parameters of aging, um, they found that in a short period of time, they could reverse the age of, of men um, by 2.5 years, right? This is coming from medical science. This is coming from traditional hospitals, traditional science. This is coming from traditional lab tests, right? And so scleriol increases the apoptosis of senescent stem cells. It comes from um, things like uh, lemon and lime peels. Um, so imagine again, you know, using using things things um, you're, you're you're just not going to get enough you can't eat enough lemons and lime to to get the ingredients uh apigenin and, and, and i hope i'm saying that all right but it's a flavonoid and it's been used in a lot of chinese medicines and what does it do it increases something called autophagy autophagy and what autophagy is is it's the cleanup crew because once you get these um, stem cells to commit cellular suicide, you have to get rid of them. You have to clean them up. You have to get them out of the way because then what happens is that your, your healthy stem cells say, hey, we've got an open spot over here. Let's fill this up with a, with a healthy stem cell, with a brand new baby stem cell. And so you've got to clean it up. Otherwise, the dead stem cell just sits there and it blocks the spot and uh, – and you don't want that. So apigenin, what they found that it, it induces this autophagy. Um, interesting. Exercise uh, also helps with autophagy. So you want to be moving. You want to get an exercise every day uh, because they found that it increases longevity because it induces autophagy. Curcuminoids. I mean, holy cow. I mean, it seems like I've been um, beating, beating these, the, 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 the curcuminin horse just to death, you know, right? Um, we talk about how it helps with the brain. So Curcumin, they found that it works with the uh, senescent stem cells in the nervous system. It causes the senescent stem cells to go into apoptosis, right? And uh, so we put the right amount of curcumin in there. Um, it's been used for years in all sorts of, of, of medicine. Um, but it also induces um, some more autophagy, the cleanup crew. It's the cleanup crew. Um, Interesting, you know, I, I've read some, I've read some science and they talk about, you know, when you, when, if you're a Christian and, and you listen to the story of the three wise men, you know, they showed up with gold, frankincense and myrrh, right? Frankincense and myrrh are uh, two essential oils, but we automatically think that gold, they're coming with them with the precious metal gold, but maybe, maybe they were actually showing up with, uh, with, with curcumin because curcumin is a gold color. And uh, so a lot of scientists are, are saying that now they're looking at, you know, the, the merge between science and Christianity. And they're saying, um, why would they show up with a, a precious metal and two essential oils? Why not show up with three essential oils? Kind of makes sense to me um, because they, they knew something back then. And acetylcysteine, you know, we've heard about it. I've heard about it a long time because of its production for glutathione, uh, glutathione. Thione is something for detoxification. That's what I've, I've heard about. But glutathione also um, works with uh, helping protect the mitochondria. It kind of cleans it up. But uh, the N-acetylcysteine, it works by scavenging, scavenging up these uh, uh, senescent stem cells that have gone through apoptosis. So it cleans up the mess, right? Again, you got to clean up the mess. So this one, it's uh, called piperlongamine. And uh, what is that? It's pepper. Right? It's a form of black pepper. Well, think about it, folks. 
If I take a, a, a handful of black pepper and I blow it at your face, what do you do? You start sneezing, you're right? And you start coughing, you get burning in your eyes. It's an irritant. When you put too much pepper on your food, your stomach starts to get that burning sensation, right? So what it does is, is that it irritates the stem, the, the cell wall, and it opens it up. So it opens up the cell wall and allows these, uh, these uh, senolytic agents to get in. Um, and, uh, and helps to, to, to promote the, the, the ingredients, the other ingredients. But the other thing is, is that it helps seek and destroy senescent stem cells. So really, really good. Another form of vitamin B6, you know, last year, a couple of years ago, they found that, that a form of vitamin B3 helped with um, supporting healthy stem cell function. Now they're finding that vitamin B6 is a, is a, is a, is a great product for uh, inducing apoptosis of damaged senescent stem cells, right? So you got one form of B vitamin that's activating and, and, and making the, the stem cells more active. You've got another form of the B vitamin that's helping clean up the mess when you have these old dead senescent stem cells. Interesting, right? Isn't that interesting how we, we have these different things? Um, so we look at some of these some of these things that we have and we just go, Holy cow, this is all found in nature. And uh, cells divide and they may replain, they maintain replacement cells so the body can grow. And really, based on what's called the, the Hayflick limit, um, your telomeres can only, they, they determine the amount of times that your, that your cells can divide. So when you're, when you're conceived, you have 15,000 of these, of these uh, telomere units. And basically, you know, because that's what it takes. One cell divides, becomes two, two cells become four, eight, like that. But um, so you use up an awful lot of your telomeres just forming you, just building you. And, uh, and so by the time that you're actually born, from the time you're conceived to when you're born, um, you're using up one third of your telomere units. And then as you go through life, as, you, as your cells are dividing and replacing and dividing and replacing, um, what ends up happening is that you continue to clip off um, these nucleotides, these telomere units. And so the 2009 Nobel Prize, they found that you could slow that down and you could partially rebuild, you could rebuild that fuse and make it so that your, your cells could divide um, that much longer. And so combine it with what I just talked about, right? Um, removing the old senescent stem cells, the damaged stem cells, and, and, and that's really what we have. And, and so, like I said, senescent cells, they don't just go to sleep. They don't just become dormant. They become dangerous. They become dangerous. And that's why this is so important. So um, as, we, as we look at how this product works, it, uh, it gets the senescent cells to go through apoptosis, which is cellular suicide. And then we've got ingredients that do what's called autophagy, which is the cleanup crew. So think of it really like this. It's the wrecking and the cleanup crew. That's what we're doing is we're getting rid of the senescent cells. We're cleaning them up so that now um, we can use these other products so that we can really be on the road to immortality. And, and one of the first products that I'm going to talk about that, that fits in with the, uh, the st stemolytic product is called the HPL. And what the HPL, it's an acronym for anti-glycation extreme. And really, uh, I'm going I'm to sum this up really quickly. I've done a lot of reports on it. And so you can go read those. You can listen to them. But, but your body, when it's burning sugar as energy, it uh, produces this sugar coating on your protein. A lot like if you take, say, um, a pork chop and you throw it in a frying pan, it's in there with the oil, and as it's cooking with the oil, the outside of the pork chop kind of gets that brownish color. That's glycation. That's where the sugar is coating the protein. Well, imagine that's happening in our body because our body's at a, a constant kind of um, higher temperature, and so it's like having your oven turned on low for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years, right? And so all you, you get all this glycation built up in the cell, and that creates kind of a, a sugar coating on your protein. But when you burn fat as energy, uh, you produce something called lipofusion, lipofusion, lipo, right? Think of that, lipo, liposuction, right? So lipofusion, it's from burning fat as energy. And what that does is that creates a cellular sludge down in the oil pan of your, of your cells. So, so here you've got the, these two different uh, forms of cellular garbage that's building up in your cell. And what they found is that it, it, it makes a, a situation where your stem cells just can't operate uh, as effectively. So Tom formulated a product called the Age Pill. It 
cleans up the cellular garbage, and then it has uh, ingredients that use um, science that show that we can support healthy stem cell function. And so now we combine that with what we've talked about. You get rid of the old, dead, damaged senescent cells, and then you, you support healthy stem cell function. Right, the two are going to be great together, you know. And then, uh, and then on top of that, following the 2009 Nobel Prize science, where we support healthy telomeres. We've already talked about telomeres. Telomeres are the fuse. It's a, it's what controls the the hay flick limit, the number of times that that a a cell can divide. So combine these three, and holy cow! I mean, we really are on that road to immortality. But all of these things take energy. Every biological process in your body, it takes energy. It takes energy to to work. And uh, bottom line is, is that um, we're not we're not getting that energy. So, you know, again, here's stemolytic, but we have to add fuel to make this work. And the most pur pure energy, the most pure form of energy is hydrogen. And so last year, Tom introduced a product called Sizzle H2 Stick. And what these are is you take a you take a product, this one right here, right? And you throw one of these little uh, one of these little babies into a uh, into a glass of water, right? And uh, you produce pure hydrogen, fuel, fuel for the cells, so your body can actually do all the things that I was just talking about. That's the road to immortality pack. So, folks, you can go on uh, Sizzle. You can go to the website. The person that gave you this video, follow their website. You know, here's the here's the deal: is that you know, um, I believe that you, 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 the person that brought you here, um, this is their business. Follow that link so that you you purchase from them. Um, give them some credit for it. You know, this is a business too. It's not just it's not just you know science. It's not just me sharing information about product. It's uh, helping other people build their businesses. But you know, go there and order the Road to Immortality pack. It, it contains all these products. Get younger. Get younger. I was just talking to a friend of mine earlier uh, about an hour and a half ago, about 90 minutes ago, and she's 85 years young. She was just sharing with me that. Um, her doctors were trying to talk her and taking these different medications, and and she really was kind of like, eh, eh, I really don't want to do that. Um, and they they said, well, let's do some lab tests and let's just see where you are. And what they discovered was that on the inside she was much younger. Um, her doctor actually called her up and said that you know she's got the lab work of a of a of a twenty year old. She'll uh, be sharing that with me on another video coming up later in the week. But think about that. If you were in your 80s and your doctor said that you've got the lab work of a of a 20 some year old, I mean, holy cow, wouldn't that be nice to hear? But you know, we can't just take these products and say, "Oh, that's it," right? I mean, we got to look at diet. They found that that when you when you go through intermittent fasting, what it does is it it gets the body so that the the road to immortality is is easier, right? It induces certain things in the cells that that make it work better. They found that if your if your diet contains higher levels of 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 omega threes versus omega sixes, and that's a problem right now. They found that that. Um, most of us have an omega-6 to omega-3 ratio of 24 to 1, and it should be closer to 1 to 1. In nature, if we go back 100 years ago, 150 years ago, um, we were eating a diet that was close to 4 to 1, but ideally it's 1 to 1. Um, but right now, because of what we're eating, because of the foods that we're eating, we're getting more of the omega-6s, and, and so we're having a diet that's closer to uh, a ratio of 24 to 1. Folks, um, Sizzle has a great product called... Uh, Super Omega Plus, and it's got a balance of the Omega 3s, the Omega with the Omega 6s, Omega 7s, Omega 9s, so you help kind of get that ratio under control. Look at your diet, look at what you're eating. Um, you know, I've radically changed my diet. I only eat red meat two to three days per week, and I eat fish two to three days per week, and I kind of give myself one free day that I can change um, based on what I feel like eating. I don't follow any regimen, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, I still do, but I, I tend to, to feel like I can keep myself, you know, one free day where I can make some mistakes and not worry about it quite so much. And then we look at, we look at uh, uh, resveratrol. Resveratrol is an ingredient that they found it, it, it um, helps with support of the sirtuin genes and the sirtuin genes, they repair damaged DNA. Um, so we've got a product called Eternity. Um, and so I really highly recommend if you're really looking at at staying healthy, you want to be on, on that as well. And then finally, 
we've got a product called Spectramax. And, and Linus Pauling said it well. He said that, uh, you know, if you have a chronic health problem, chances are you're missing um, minerals. And according to studies that have done at a major university, they found that 95% of people are missing key essential minerals. And so uh, why not take a product that has 74 trace minerals? It's the most powerful mineral product, the most powerful mineral tonic that I've ever seen. And you just drink a little 25 milliliter or one ounce shot glass of this every morning. I do it every day. My dog gets a shot every day. Um, that's how important my dog is to me too, folks. You know, uh, he takes a lot of these same products. So anyhow, that's my quick report that I want to do a recording that I wanted to get out to y'all and, and really uh, share that with you. So have a great day. Let's get younger. Let's all uh, live healthier. And, and that's, you know, that's, that's important to me. I know that's, uh, that's important to you as well. So hang on one second here and we'll be done with the video. Bye-bye.